Hey, what is going on guys, Danny here, hope you've all been doing well. Just wanted to post this quick comparison video showcasing the difference between a 120mm AIO liquid cooler versus a 360mm AIO liquid cooler, both of which were used to cool my RTX 2080 using NZXT's Kraken G12 mounting bracket. Initially, I decided to go with a single 120mm radiator with the Kraken G12, and that seemed to work pretty well with the 1080 Ti. I hardly saw the temps go past 52 degrees Celsius. However, once I switched over to the 2080, I noticed the temps under load jumped about 10 degrees. Where under load you'll have noticed the temps would creep up to around 62 degrees, plus or minus 2 depending on the ambient room temperature. While it's nothing bad at all, I felt like I could probably get better thermals on the card if I went with a bigger radiator. I'm assuming one of the reasons why the temps jumped is because Turing in general just runs hotter than Pascal. Keep in mind their 12 nanometer node is simply a tweaked 16 nanometer node from TSMC, and the die sizes of these GPUs are considerably larger to accommodate for the extra RT and tensor cores, so there's going to be more heat to dissipate there. Now previously I did upload a video showcasing the performance of the 2080 under a 120mm radiator throughout some benchmarks. So in this comparison video you'll be able to see how much things have improved jumping from a 120mm radiator to a 360mm radiator. Both of these AIO coolers are from Thermaltake's Water 3.0 ARGB lineup, so literally the only difference comes from the larger radiator size and more fans. So enjoy the video, do like and subscribe if you're more interested in more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.
and take another step closer. Are you an idiot? Stop that! Thank you.